Um, we've had a good and interesting discussion, and it's, I, I would promote, uh, support this motion as, I think, a very serious response to a grave crisis. Um, it struck me that when my good friend Senator Lynn Bylan was speaking, I thought I was listening to an extract from on Bail Buck by Flann O'Brien um, in the first chunk of our speech. Uh, I also thought that to deliver the list of uh, suggestions she had, that we might need to add buttons to the, to the computer, to the calculator, to get the figures, to, the figures all combined together. Now, I think what I was going to say to you, we have a very... Um, we have a very serious set of important propositions here, and I just want to look quickly at a couple of them and suggest, uh, commend them to the House as worthy of particular attention. I think the tax cuts on the squeeze middle, as we describe it, are the people who would, if they get a pay increase, and we're talking here people on low incomes of, say, from 20,000 to 60,000. Uh, that bracket who are under awful pressure, if they get a small pay increase on the building momentum or they get it in the current agreements, they will end up paying income tax, USC and PRSI, and to the extent that they'll erode their wages. Hence the logic of the tax cuts for these people. It actually is targeted at people who need. Welfare increases for pensioners are very, very important in that these are people who suffer particularly from fuel poverty and they need attention. The idea of a lower cost of education through reducing student contributions and increasing the eligibility for student grants for colleges, that's a very important initiative. An awful, a lot of parents suffer here and it's a threat to equality of opportunity. Uh, reducing the cost of health care is another obviously commendable suggestion and we have made massive strides in this area, much more needs to be done. And it, we have a proposal here, and this motion is extraordinarily well crafted, uh, in that we have the increase in the cost rental and affordable housing schemes, and that's an initiative that's very badly needed. And I think making the, the reductions in transport costs permanent is a very, very important initiative. I know that a Virgi in Virginia County Cavern on the N3, that route to Dublin is extraordinarily well used. Buses on the hour are packed. And the number of people who go that route who have said to me that their fare for reduced production has meant so much to them is really, really important. So I think those are practical solutions that can be implemented. I agree with my colleague, the Leader of the House, in relation to an immediate intervention in, 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 the, in the area of fuel. Particularly, this is an issue in the constituency of myself and Minister Humphreys, and I commend her for our recent initiatives in access to pensions and in the carer's allowance. I think those are two very real initiatives in that auto entitled to pensions and the carer's allowance being made available to a wider range of people are very important. But Minister Humphreys and I both know in the area we represent, there, are no, there is effectively not a public transport for people who work in factories, who work in low paid jobs around those counties. They don't have the rail network, they don't have the buses, they have to have cars and fuel is a major prohibition there. I think it's a great motion. I hope that it will get the unanimous support of the House and the wholesome support of the House and the people will see it as a good start to solving a very difficult crisis. Thank, Thank you. you, sir.